Hey everyone, Dan from Baseball Connect here. In this scouting video, we're going to take a look at how scouts should factor in in-game stats when looking at players. As you watch games and evaluate players, one important reminder is don't scout the box score. Practically anyone can look at a box score and see what the results were for any given player on a particular day. Instead, you should be looking at how the player achieved those results. For hitters, if a player goes two for four with two singles, but was facing lackluster pitching that day, there may not be any major takeaways from that performance alone. Some helpful questions or things to keep in mind when watching hitters would be, what's the quality of pitches that they're facing? How are their swing decisions? How does their approach change from OO to hitters counts or to pitchers counts? What quality of contact do they make? How consistently are they able to make contact on the barrel? Do they make adjustments during at-bats from one to the next? These are all questions that cannot be answered by the box score, but they can be answered by an evaluator. As with hitters, there's value in looking at box scores for pitchers, but it's important to look at how the pitcher achieved the number in the box score. What is the quality of hitters that the pitcher faced today? Did the pitcher just outstuff the hitter by overpowering them with high velocity or throwing big breaking pitches to young, inexperienced hitters? More specifically, does the pitcher's stuff project to succeed at the major league level? Did they show flashes of major league quality pitches? If a pitcher is walking a lot of batters, is he doing so while being aggressive with his pitch selection, or is he simply unable to hit his spot? Does the pitcher have a pitch that he can rely upon to get outs when in a tough situation? Performance is always important. Anyone can say what a player did during a game, but context of performance and being able to ask why and how a player performs or doesn't is what makes a good evaluator.